Hi, everyone. We're broadcasting from Slim and Mame Stadium, home of the Terror Bay Mutineers. A lot of Mutineer fans enjoying some good tailgate fun out in the parking lot. Yeah, but instead of tailgates, they got planks, and they're making the other team's fans walk off into a shark tank. Like I said, good old fun in the parking lot. Let's play some mutant football. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Nashville Lycans battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll be second down and four. Like a, oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field. And he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. And it's first and ten. Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that'll be second down and four. Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Interception! And that's how you stop an offense! First and ten. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Second down and a lot. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. the meat for great man with a ball and didn't fall out. <laughs> And 
and they line up for the extra point. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And that'll bring up third down and seven. This dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes her. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum they, and killing. They, you know what? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> First and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get some new ones? Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. I'll shoot you in the head. Well, people like it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be and it plows forward for the two-point conversion. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. <laughs> the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second down and two. <laughs> The defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Oh. 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 A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Oh. 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 Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. The offense is down to their last running back. 
When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to block it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. That'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. Second down and two. comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh. Oh. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means they can wrap up. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes... Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. <laughs> Second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crap. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Third and two. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Don't you just love the sound of bones stamping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. First and ten. Now I guess, Grim. Which I, I won't even 
And that'll be second and eight. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and four. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just go oh, with a monster hit. Well, technically, they're all monster hits, Grim, because, you know, they're all monsters. Point taken. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. But he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Well, there's a quick change of careers. Just went from football jock to shock jock in a hurry. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Second down and ten. a run for no gain then it's not really a run. Oh, come on that was a cheap shot <laughs> that's why i love this guy and so are the fans third down and ten hot hot one hot two hot 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 eight. and that's how you run the football a pickup of seven and that's a hell of a cheap shot <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expense of that is. And it's first and ten. First down. I don't know. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. And apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Oh, the player's favorite. First and eight to go. Tell he's a berserker because he's from he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Second down and two. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not gonna dance now. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> and the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. 
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. He refuses to go down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. <laughs> Second down in a lot. <laughs> oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Hit him like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Oh, oh. oh sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team. Let the ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. Yeah, that sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the fans from the cannon. First and ten. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down in a very lot. He's not going down, and he's off to the races. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room and the easiest play in the league and he chokes yeah he's a choker when you get knocked down you gotta get right back up and fight now what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run and he just wrestles away from that tackle And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big quarter, John, in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's under two minutes. A timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Third down and a sliver. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled-up dollar bill sticking out. Flimsy low hands not the QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. He picks up ten yards on that play. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Shifts 
the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. He heard footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room. And we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? Our carnivals? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Ruin your world. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy. And, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. <laughs> Second down and ten. Oh. Oh. And like breaks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Bricks, they're going for two here. Two-point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay. There's a funny red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, 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 that gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just grab your pants, Junior. First and ten. Just a good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and ten. Well, here 
comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. <laughs> they just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. I ain't a piece of licorice once it got a shot like that. It was a licorice, you idiot. It was the frank cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten. but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. And the quarterback throws another pick. He's oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. <laughs> Second down and ten. <laughs> You've got to catch that. down and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. This guy's a brick should have. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Now this guy had a lot of integrity. If he took a bribe, he blew the whistle. He put his money where his mouth was. Yeah, and now his mouth is where his foot was! On the ground! First down in a mile. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Man, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. 
It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. He's going long with the pass. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an intercepted, though. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can see that, Graham. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. First down! Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and five. running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And that'll be second down and four. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. When skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece, that's always cause for celebration. Kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the line, it wasn't a frog. I bet it was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And the defense gets the quarterback for 
a sack. position in football the mighty punter nice punt should move them back nicely and he's got a chance for a good return here oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah most likely in a convalescent home and it's first and ten to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. <laughs> Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Oh, my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his... Great run for a nine-yard game. is warming up. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. A misfired punt will give the opposing team... And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. It's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Bricks. <laughs> the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. That one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. Second down and ten. Certainly left skid marks. And it's 
first and ten. And they go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the big six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Second down and ten. He picks up a two. Third down and eight. was an all-pro NFL hit. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> oh, yeah! First down and five. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Third down and nine. Huh? 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 Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Eh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he finds open space is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. You never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. Yeah, if he does it, they're gonna split his skull wide open. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he's off to the races. The Mutineers deliver a bloody good win for the Terror Bay. It was a hell of a battle, and they had just enough to cross the finish line. Good thing they got juiced at halftime. I want to get juiced now after listening to you two the entire game. Listen up, guys. The MVP is about to speak. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...